Welcome to your learning box. Let's get to learning and let's talk about the changes we have to make. If you're new here, I always give some great recipes for the week that's upcoming, some planning or just some day in the life of what's happening in our life. This week, you definitely have three solid recipes and some updates. Smile! My fridge needs cleaning, but here is it with the stew. So you see kind of my progress of during the week. When I start, I always keep it much more clean. So here is fridge one. I know everyone loves to see it. I don't have no room for these, so they're in here. But there's that. Freezer, pretty stocked, honestly. I need to do it for some more food. Let's see the next one. Let's take. Every year I say I'm gonna video us and the progress we make on their cakes. So here is Eliza's birthday and she chose a strawberry cream cheese cake with real strawberries inside. So here it is. And then she of course helped me decorate it and she picked out everything. It started off as a unicorn cake, then it morphed into a little bit more. So there's her cake. She even picked out candles that had happy birthday and wanted them on the front of the cake. So we really had to make some changes. Down there with you, often find yourself in your kids' closets, but you know, we have a, live in a small house, and this happens pretty often. And today is one of those days where I am kind of making a list of everything that needs to get done before the school year for us, for homeschooling starts. And one of those things is going through the clothes, seeing what we have, establishing what we're going to need this coming year in clothes wise for all three girls. Um, Roan is not as important as in like me figuring that out because I see his clothes every day. The girls get themselves dressed for the most part now so I don't I'm really not in here as much. They just also struggle with maintaining cleanliness like cleaning up, hanging their clothes, doing all that so that's what I'm doing today. Um, I'm actually being we're just going to reheat some food and have leftovers for dinner because I want to get all this done and it's, um, I think, 2.06, so that's more to do. What's he going to say? Dad's going to say to ordering a bed, you're crazy, that ain't going to fix the problem. What? A really great weeknight dinner is browning some sausage. If you like pancetta, you can do that instead. Um, and browned it real good. And once everything was well, well browned and coated, threw in some green beans. And then you just throw in some potato gnocchi. Season it real nice. We're seasoning it tonight. Um, I'll show you in a second. We're definitely getting to the stage where he wants to do everything. And at this point, I think this guy can make a pretty good double shot. So he is helping me do all of my coffee this morning as we prepare for the day. We had a pretty solid day. I had to catch up on some clothes and uh, we decided to, I made a list of all the things that I wanted to do and get done with the house. I've shared before different variations on this, but Greek yogurt bowls for breakfast in the morning, if you are looking for something that is quick and so delicious and very filling for your kids is this. Add some peanut butter, drizzle of honey, and a banana or any type of fruit. The banana and the peanut butter always are a great jam, but they love it, they ask for it every day. A very much day in the life of a mom just trying to drink coffee and finding her son has got to the expense of sprinkles and is now enjoying his life with the sprinkles.
So I decided to make three things of sourdough today. As you can see here, I'm not sure if I uh, videoed the very beginning, we'll see. But I decided to make three things of it. I love starting the weekend with fresh sourdough and the beginning of the week with fresh sourdough. If this lasts until Monday or Tuesday, then that means Wednesday we'll have some more and I'm not having to buy bread in the store, which makes me feel like crap. The kids, I noticed some very like puffiness, inflammation. So what I was gonna say was, I do plan on showing you at some point uh, me doing it, but until then, I am just gonna tease the heck out of you because it's fun. Uh, and I'm learning a lot right now. I am aware that I could be doing it all in one, one big bucket, but I wanna be able to stuff some of them. And so I just decided to do it this way. trying to break the idea of having to do everything in grams and like weighing everything. So today I did it um, based on just my feel for it. And I added mo more moisture in as I went when I added the flour. And I love the texture so far. You can see some of them are more stretchy than others because I think some of them have more flour. Um, I did write my notes down on it, but I'm anxious to see how this method works. Let's see if you can show you. We have all of these patches all over our home. Um, we are really highly considering to start building soon. So the home, our home that is currently we're living in uh, that we own, we will be selling it and we need to get this place fixed up, finished up uh, from all of the things that we've had to fix in the past. So you will see me working my tail off soon taking care of this house because I want to have helping hands. I want to take some load off of Daniel, even though he really doesn't want me to. Um, so we actually have not had a bed in a very long time. So I am so eager to finally patch, like fix all these things. And we ordered a bed last night. So we're going to get a bed in here. It's going to look like a real room again. Um, and then the bed we'll be taking to the new house. I wanted to wait and make sure like what I wanted was what I wanted for the new house, but since I know we're about to get there and start building, I know what kind of bed I want. And so we ordered it and that'll come with us. Um, and there's a few other things that are gonna come with us and a lot of things that are not gonna come with us because we just wanna kinda restore it. Like our couch, for example, it's, it's, it's lived its life, it's time for it to go. So I'll take you along for the rest of the day, kinda share some here and there's. Um, and soon I'll be having a full homeschool vlog and a homeschool like, hey, this is my schedule that I'm hoping to follow for homeschooling. Um, and kind of like what curriculum we're choosing. It's gonna be the same, some a little bit different, um, but the majority is gonna be our way of doing things. Uh, the new house will not have a classroom until we can build one separately. So we'll be working in the dining room in the beginning. So I'll just be outfitting the dining room to fit like a classroom in the beginning and we'll eat dinner more than likely around the island until that can get straight. So, so you can definitely see like the work here. There's ceiling work that has to be done. We had some AC stuff that happened and that all needs to be fixed and re repaired. We are not replacing the popcorn ceiling. It's The walls are gonna be fixed, but the popcorn ceiling is gonna stay. The, owner, the next owners can remove that at the, t at the time of um, wanting like them buying the house. We are undecided if we're gonna like offer something for it. Anyway, all that to say for homeschooling purposes, uh, we are hoping, I am hoping if we start building when we do, that is going to be such a good lesson for the olders and the youngers. Like they'll be able to experience building they're gonna learn from the ground up what has to happen we're talking about foundation we're talking about actual structural things i want to learn i want to be able to teach them they're going to learn the whole process of building a house which i am extremely excited about for them what an 
awesome experience to go through, especially like we can go right out there, see the people working on the house, walk around the house from the store. Um, and then they'll be able to pick out their own bedroom. The kids will be sharing a room at this point in time with the house design that we have selected, but it's still gonna be such a good experience. Out on the land, that's when we'll start gardening. I feel like science and all these extras are gonna come with this. So that's kind of my plan. Now, Anna does wanna do social studies really badly. She wants to learn about history. So I think we're gonna go ahead and just jump straight into the good and the beautiful history curriculum this year and kind of see how advanced it is. So they're being extremely loud. Um, I am hoping that we can just jump into it and we can all learn together with the so with the social studies or the history part of it. If not, I will do some different type of science. Um, my goal right now for homeschooling is to start middle of September. I haven't even ordered anything yet. I don't like starting that early. Middle of September going hard until, no until basically November, taking that off through Christmas and then starting again in January. My goal is always to finish around April. Typically we do, unless one of my kids have trouble learning. Um, Eliza will be doing pre-K four, so that's gonna be a whole nother bag of fun for us. Uh, she seems very interested, so I think it'll work out fine. Um, but my plan is to do Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Uh, how, how do I say that? So the very beginning of the week, going hard with all curriculum. Um, and then on Fridays doing like a history or a science and no ELA or no math on Fridays, um, but doing four hard days a week, like going hard in the classroom, and then Fridays having a fun craft day. Uh, I did say sewing, so some type of sewing, whatever. That's kind of where my plan is. If you've done anything like that, let me know. We don't really stop for anything other than if the weather is beautiful outside, then we just go outside. So I shared a little bit on here and here is the big change is we have decided we're going to fully do a makeover on our, in our bedroom. I will video everything of course. And in the house, basically we're getting everything set up to sell. We have quite a bit of work to do with all the things that we had to do over the 10 years we've owned this place um, that we just kind of let go to the side because every time we turn around, there was more things to, to do that was functional than aesthetically. So now we're finally taking the time to do something that's aesthetically what we want. And I'm excited about it. I'm excited to actually see it here before possibly putting it in the new house. Um, and you know, maybe we'll really like it. Maybe it's just gonna be great for a resale value. I don't really know. I know the floors I dearly love. Here is our dinner. I did two roasted chickens, um, a lemon and herb. I did lemon and herb and a sourdough. So. This was the celebration for Eliza's birthday. We went to lunch. This is her last year, and this is this year. Of course, she designs her cake. She designs the flavoring. This year, she had us do a cream cheese strawberry cake, and it was delicious. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I'd love to see this grow, and I'll see you next time.